Climate change is the greatest challenge faced by modern human civilization. Our country too is experiencing the unwanted effects of its extreme conditions. Within such a background, together with financial contribution from the government of Sri Lanka and the Green Climate Fund as an integrated water management project in association with the Cascade system which has become a world heritage, the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project or the Waugam Pubudua was commenced in the year 2017. This project was implemented initially under the Ministry of Mahaveli Development and Environment following the restructuring of ministries in the year 2020 is presently being implemented by the Ministry of Irrigation. The Green Climate Fund is transferring funds to the United Nations Development Program UNDP as a credited entity and UNDP is providing additional supportive services as the implementing assistant while following the no objection procedure. Accordingly, the UNDP is playing a dual role on this project. The government of Sri Lanka has invested 14 million American dollars as co-financing component and the Green Climate Fund has granted 38.08 million American dollars for this project, the overall investment being 52.08 million American dollars. A climate resilient integrated water management approach was implemented through this project for the first time in Sri Lanka based on three river basins that have been endangered mostly due to climate change namely Mioya, Malvatuya and Yanoya. Under this, aiming at integrated water management at the cascade system level in association with selected cascade systems, improvement of tanks and anicots and conservation of watershed areas for their long-term sustainability and restoration of tank environment and ecological system while enhancing of groundwater level by restoration of small tanks are being implemented as the focal mission of this project. In reaching this main objective, in addition to enhancing water management through improving the cascade system through fulfilling the drinking water needs of people in the area, training the community to adopt climate smart agriculture to save the water resource, developing operational and maintenance methods for tank anicots that can be resilient to climate change, disaster preparedness and creating awareness among people on risk reduction, there are numerous other activities that are being fulfilled by this project as value additions to the focal mission of the project. Through the first component of this project, it is proposed to restore 325 rural irrigation systems in more than 15 selected cascade systems that exist in these three river basins. Similarly, improving the agriculture activities of people associated with the improved cascade systems in a climate resilient manner and training the farmer community to use the limited water resources sparingly for obtaining maximum benefit and training them in climate smart agriculture is an additional provision given to the community through this project. Accordingly, under climate smart agriculture being implemented through the project, climate smart home gardens are being developed and special commercial cultivations suited to the dry zone are being established. The project also paid attention to short-term strategies in livelihood development of communities associated with cascade systems which are being improved and considerable amounts of funds are being invested for the provision of necessary knowledge and infrastructure for beekeeping, poultry, animal husbandry such as goats, cows and buffalo rearing, bio coal and compost production, mushroom cultivation, etc and for implementing the farmer markets and rural women's fair. This project expects to increase the groundwater level by rehabilitation of small tanks in identified cascades. As its second component, this project is introducing safe drinking water facilities for the people living in identified cascade areas which are being improved and for minimizing the suffering of the people of this area who have been affected with the severe kidney disease. Accordingly, 
the installation of new rural community water planning systems and the provision of high-tech filtration systems for rural schools and hospitals are underway. Social-based non-government organizations are being financially strengthened through this project to enhance effective engagement of social mobilization work and public gathering activities. Women in identified cascade areas are being encouraged and are being trained for management of water supply systems constructed by the project. The project has also taken measures to solve the drinking water problem of people in these areas by providing rainwater tanks as an instant intervention. Accordingly, there are 4,000 numbers of rainwater tanks of 5,000 litre capacity being distributed. There are meteorological observatories and water management sensor equipment being installed, taking steps for planning cultivations, for planning cultivation seasons, for early identification of disasters and for collecting climate and weather information for people living in association with the cascade systems which are being improved. This is the third component of this project. Based on the agrometeorological information obtained from these, farmers are being directed towards intermediate season cultivation. It can be specially noted that the contribution made by this project made it easier for the meteorological department to plan earlier than usual for the severe drought in the early half of the year 2020 and Hurricane Buravi at the end of 2020 and the heavy rains. It has been possible to improve community participation through engaging in the field of a few selected non-government organizations paid by the project for ground level organization or empowering community coordination for the work of the project and through these organizations, it has been possible for the project to mobilize people at rural level successfully for the project. The opportunity has arisen to be a partner in national development by sharing the practical experiences of the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project with the entire Sri Lankan community being implemented by developing tank ecosystems through community participation methods and simultaneously developing community livelihoods. This means the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project becomes a major sub-project of the national program in which the Ministry of Irrigation is empowering the national policy vision for prosperity by implementing the development of 5,000 prosperity-focused rural irrigation systems. Therefore, the Climate Resilient Integrated Water Management Project, the sub-project of the Irrigation Prosperity National Program or Vari Saubhagya Program, will without doubt help to awaken the future dream of a community that has developed sustainably managed rural infrastructure in an ecosystem nourished by biodiversity through the development of the cascade system which is a world heritage.